game one. Rajon Rondo and Dwayne Wade. Wade had a game, baby. Rondo, uh, uneven, but still effective. And right here, off the Miami miss. Michael Beasley with the rebound. Finds Wade and one. And one the old-fashioned way, what he does best. And Beasley with a nice bounce pass. He and, can get some more work out of Beasley here. And uh, speaking of elbows, this time it was Dwayne Wade inadvertently elbowing Ray Allen in the nose. You can see how swollen it is. You see how right there on the bridge of his nose it's red. Uh, he would return to the game but not have a Ray Allen game. And right here off the turnover, it is D. Wade flushing it down. And we are tied at 13. Now, Tony Allen, the deflection, ends up to Rondo. And Rondo is going to reward Tony Allen. Great defense, great offense. Reward the guy for working hard on the other end. And we're still tied this time at 19. Now, Rasheed Wallace finds Tony Allen as time is expiring in the first quarter, and Allen hits it. But Miami, in a high-scoring first quarter, goes to the second up one. Ray Allen driving, and that is an unbelievable and one. The floater, we know he can shoot the three, but he's letting you know he can drive. J.O. with a couple of misses right here, but as you can see, Michael Beasley does not miss. Beasley, I need more of that. Three for eight tonight, I need you more aggressive. Michael Beasley puts Miami up one, then Dwayne Wade splitting the D, finds Quentin Richardson 40% from three on the season. Money ball, three for six for the game today. Only three-point field goal made by either team in the first half, and then Rondo ends the first half with that jumper, but Miami led by three. Miami hung tough. Started making shots in the fourth quarter. Just got a little cold. Real cold. And it's not even that cold in Boston right now. What's the deal? Jermaine O'Neal with the miss. D. Wade rocks the rim. Flash to the rim. Look at that, folks. That was called hops, not hopes. Very, very nice. Dwayne Wade was not done here. Splitting the defense. Going right at Kevin Garnett and scoring. Miami up by 14. Boston coming back. Rondo to KG. KG, I'm feeling better. And Rondo, he may be the best point guard in the league at throwing that alley -oop. Hey, Garnett had hops to spare on that. Almost hit his head on the rim. Then it's Rondo to Pierce. Boston on a 13-2 run. And they're within three. Look at the Celtics. Crazy the truth. Knocking down big shots. Getting his team involved. Steven Tyler. Rock and roller. Loving it. And then it's Rondo to Glenn Davis. Hubie Brown called him Baby Davis. Come on. That's the big bayou to the basket. <laughs> and one. I thought it was Uno Uno. No, it's the big Bayou. Yeah, I, I didn't like that nickname anyway. <laughs> Clint Davis, he gets into it, baby. Boston up 71-68, and then good defense here by Tony Allen. Well, pretty good defense by Tony Allen. Decent close right there, Wade the miss. And Beasley right here, boy, that's a free throw line, Jay. You got to knock that one down. Wade called for an over-the-back foul, and Boston led 78-71. And then Wade puts it in. He's bringing the Miami Heat back. See, it's an eight-point game. Now he makes it a six-point game. Starting to get his rhythm. Needing shots bad because Miami was struggling there in the second half to get points. And now things get testy. Paul Pierce takes a shot on the right elbow. Quentin Richardson kind of shoves him slightly into the official there at the sideline. And Paul Pierce uh, in a lot of pain there with the right shoulder and the right neck. KG says, yo, Q, I'm checking out my guy. I don't know what Q said to Kevin Garnett right there. And let's follow it here for a second. Watch Kevin Garnett's left elbow right there. You saw right, Q's head snap back. You saw his head snap back. You saw you, Udonis Haslam come in trying to help out. Like he said, we don't know what was said, but I don't think there's anything pleasant. No, it was not pleasant. And uh, technicals assessed on the play to Haslam, Davis, Ooh. Richardson, and two to Kevin Garnett, who was ejected. Yes, folks. Celtic fans didn't look good. I'm sure the league office will take a close look at this, and they will replay it a thousand times, but the elbow did connect to the chin. And the sad thing for Celtic fans, KG was having a game 15 and 9, and then you see an opportunity off the made free throw by Wade from the technical, but he missed that jumper right there. Uh, could have really made the Boston Celtics sweat. Dennis, as it is, they go on to win. The Celtics, that is, 85-76. The biggest surprise, folks, in that last shot, all of us here in the studio were like, how come D-Wade didn't attack the Rim. We know he gets to the free throw line or not a lot, and uh, did an excellent job tonight uh, holding him down from the free throw line only six times.